Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can customize runestones on your Valheim server to show any kind of text that you can come up with. You can have descriptions, or lists, or colors as you've seen so far. And as usual with my tutorials, everything you're about to see is vanilla friendly, meaning once you change the server, every player on the server will see the change with no mods required. To get started, you'll need to use the World Edit Commands mod, which has a few dependencies including server dev commands. All the mods you need are made by Yeri Kusala, so if you want to support him and his work, then consider going to the buymeacoffee.com Yeri Kusala link to show your support. I don't have any kind of affiliate relationship with him, everything that you give goes straight to him and whatever the website charges him. To start, we'll show you how to replace the text on an existing runestone. You can get close to it, and then interact with it, and then you'll get some text on the screen. So when you leave, it goes away, and if you reload it, then you can get the text to show back up. And it's basically a really deep sign. So a sign is like one sentence, maybe. Whereas these things, they can be whole stories. And technically, all you need to do this is to have world edit commands installed, and this will allow you to use some text to influence this. And afterwards, anybody who comes and reads it will see the same thing you're seeing. They don't need any mods. And this is because world edit commands allows us to save and load data to the game objects in Valheim. So this, for example, is the text that you need to load onto the runestone to make it look like this. I've reverted it back to a regular runestone. We can interact with it. You see the runes, and then all the text shows up. And typically, that's what you would do. You would come up to the runestone, and it would function like this. So you go F5, and then now you do data, load, equals Raka Stone, just like that. And then that's going to replace the runestone with the new one that has the text that you've customized. So all you have to do to customize the text is customize things here. Let's change this to the tutorial video. And then instead of paragraph one, it's going to say, this is how... Now we're gonna save the data file, right? And we can see here that the cursor is on the runestone, so we open the console, and then do the same thing, data, load, and then what are we loading? We're loading the Raka stone. And there we go, we open it up, and you can see that we have changed the text, the tutorial video, etc., etc. And you can make these really, really long. If I were to take this, for example, and then let's just make a bunch of them, just to see how much text we can put in this runestone. I'm gonna save it. And now we do the same thing, just copy-paste the same command, right? And, <laughs> you see what you can do? You can really write out whole stories this way. And there's really only two things that you need to understand for how to edit the text. Because it's actually more about editing the text than it is about placing the runestone. That's a small part of the workflow. Most of the workflow is figuring out how to format the text in the way that you want it to appear. And you'll be doing that entirely with this edit here, this string, runestonem.txt. But you can't just apply this, because you need to have these things here as well, otherwise it won't work properly. That's why they're all there, but you can pretty much just ignore them. You can change the color from this point forward by adding a tag with a hex code. So here we see it has a hex code, and then if we look, we have the tutorial video at the top in the green that is that hex color. And then we can look and see that, okay, it changes, it changes the color of the text to white, and then there is an enter, or a, a space basically, right? Because this BR, that's how you get there to be a gap. And that can be done with two BRs. If you just use one BR, then it's just gonna go to the next line. It won't actually make that paragraph gap. And that's it, that's everything you need to know about making the text which is how to change the colors, how to add spaces, that's really it. But now, let's get into how you would actually place the runestone and enable this in the first place. Because you'll need to get these values that I used, right? You need to know where to download this or where to copy-paste it from. It's available on the Valheim World Editing Discord. You can go down to Config Share, and then up here, search for Raka Stone or Custom Runestone. 
that'll bring up this post here. This post has some basic instructions, and then it has the text here that allows you to just modify existing runestones. All you have to do is copy this text and then navigate to your Valheim base directory. Go into the bepinx folder and then config. And keep in mind, this is where it's going to be even if you use a mod manager, so don't worry about that. After you go into the config folder, look in data. This is the magical file, the data in the data. You're going to open this. If this file isn't here, that just means that you haven't ever tried to save anything. So, with world edit commands installed, go up to any object in the game, put your cursor on it, open the console and type data save equals test. Okay? Just like that. Doing so is going to immediately update this data file here, and at that point it'll show up. So you can just edit it, and then it'll place the data you just saved at the very bottom. So here we have a test, that's the label that we chose earlier, right? And then we have all of the values that were customized. Keep in mind, this isn't always every value that that object has. As far as I understand, it's just the ones that were changed, let's say. And from this point, you would make the text modifications based on what I showed you earlier, adding colors, changing the text, and adding spacing as you need. And then once you have figured out what you want to try, you've put your text in, you save this data, you go up to a runestone, and then you use the command data, load equals the name of the entry that you just made. Now, you know where to get the text that you need. You know that you need to use world edit commands to alter the runestone. But how do we get the runestones to show up in the first place? Well, there's actually a couple different ways to do that. I'll show you the easier way to do it, which is just using Infinity Hammer. Then you want to spawn a location which could really be any of the different locations. There's Grey Dwarf runes, there's Draugr runes, Meadows, etc. They're all pretty much the same. I could even use the one from the Ashlands here. You can see that they have some slight differences, so you might like how they look. See? And then once you place it, it's going to have a, a default story. But all you have to do is just use that same command earlier, data load equals rock stone, and then boom, look at that. It actually switched it to a regular non-Ashlands runestone. Interesting. But you can see that the text from earlier is there. Now, the problem with this is it's going to do that location thing when you add it. So it's actually possible to just place a runestone. In order to do that, you need to get the blueprint file that Raka made. That's how I originally got started with this. You can get that blueprint file by going into the Valheim World Edit group and then searching for stone thingy. Then you'll find the bar stone, the bar runestone price list which Raka created. This is a little bit easier to place because it doesn't include the terrain modification. As you can see, if I place a normal runestone just like that, it's going to mess up the terrain around it and level it. So you might want that or you might not. If you're building in your base, for example, you probably don't want that. So in that case, you'll need to use the blueprint that Raka provided. Once you've downloaded the blueprint, put it into your blueprints file, which is in the same config area that the data is. And once you place the blueprint file there, you can use Infinity Hammer or Plan Build. But in this case, I'm using Infinity Hammer. And you can go Hammer, Blueprint, and then Bar Runestone Price List. And it's going to show up as Location Proxy. But if you look on the ground, you'll see those little arrows, right? The arrows are pointing the back of the runestone. So I need the arrows to face away from me if I want the runestone to spawn in front of me, just like that. And this runestone won't affect the terrain, so you can just spawn them like that. If you want to delete them, you'll need to use Infinity Tools or something else, and use one of the remove tools like this. That'll easily get rid of all these extra runestones and also any of the terrain modifications that they've produced. And that's it for this video, everybody. You now know that it's possible to customize the text on any existing runestone on your server and replace it with something else. However, you will lose that fading rune effect, unless one of you knows a way to keep it. 
And if you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a fantastic way for you to get a couple more thousand hours out of your Valheim experience, especially if you want to get into the world of expand world prefabs and all of these vanilla server customizations. Vanilla meaning your clients don't need any mods, they don't even necessarily know there's a change. It's a whole new world, and I'm excited to make a lot of tutorials about it. Thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!